As a preteen during the era of the Inheritance book series, The Hills and Chris Crocker's 15 Minutes of Fame, being internet famous was nearly unheard of. That was just about 11 years ago, and Chris Crocker has since faded into obscurity, and wow, times have changed. In the era of TikTok, YouTube, social media, and reality television, outrageous and disrespectful behavior can instantly make someone a household name. And if you're a parent with a daughter, you're probably very concerned about how bad behavior gets quite a lot of attention nowadays, and, God forbid, if she'll copy it. That concern is not unwarranted, because young girls are very impressionable, especially this generation. Let's be brutally honest. Our girls need more positive role models and less negative. Today I will be talking to you about something very obvious. This generation needs more positive role models for our young girls. Immediately. Without a doubt, you know who Danielle Bregoli, better known as Bad Babby, is. If you don't, here's a quick refresher. In 2016, Bregoli appeared on an episode of Dr. Phil at the age of 13, alongside her disgruntled mother, Barbara Ann. Barbara Ann described her daughter's outrageous behavior, even showing footage of Danielle getting physically violent by pushing, slapping, kicking, punching, and even biting her. Barbara Ann referred to her daughter as the Antichrist. Her daughter infamously said, cash me outside, how about that, and referred to the audience as the H-word. Danielle's over-the-top behavior went viral, garnering over 2 million hits on YouTube, naturally. After the infamous showdown on Dr. Phil went down, Brigoli was granted a record deal for her behavior, which shocked millions of people. People were shocked because Bregoli was given a record deal instead of being taken on a prison tour by LAPD. It's not hard to see why Bregoli was granted a record deal. It was shocking. It violates common sense. You don't reward bad behavior. Any parenting expert will tell you that. Naturally, Bregoli has her admirers, hoping to achieve the exact same level of infamy. Bregoli's young, she's a teen herself, and she managed to achieve fame and a massive following on social media almost overnight. But the truth is, she is a terrible role model for teen and preteen girls. In a 2017 piece for entertainment news outlet Hollywood Life, Emily LaCrosse states, but Bregoli won't seem to go away, and somehow this 14-year-old has gone from a caricature of an out-of-control teen to a music video vixen style icon and soon-to-be reality star. I'm not blaming the troubled girl for what she's become. Of course she's going to enjoy the fame. She's an intention to starve teenager. That's how she ended up on Dr. Phil in the first place. Bregoli isn't alone in being a negative role model for our girls. TikTok content creators Charlie and Dixie D'Amelio have been charged for being have been criticized for being bad role models and for teens and preteen girls because of their behavior in their videos. The girls slap and talk back to their mother and even kick and use various obscenities that I'm not going to repeat towards their father for the sake of being quote unquote influencers. In a twenty twenty opinion piece for the Los Angeles Times High schooler Talia Wilcox stated, TikTok has created a culture where it is cool to drop out of college to become an influencer. Ten years ago, being an influencer wasn't a job that existed. Now, kids are putting out content on their social media accounts, begging for followers so they can prove to their family that they can be influencers and circumvent college altogether on a fast track to success. 
Although Wilcox is a teen herself, she is not alone. Any mother or father with common sense would be outraged if their daughter idolized disrespectful teens. And although there are mostly negative influencers, there is hope for parents everywhere. The glamorization of negative behavior might be everywhere, but there are women that stand out from the pack for all the positive reasons. One example is model and mathematician Carly Kloss. Founded in 2015, her Code with Classy program for girls ages 13 to 17 has awarded over 2,000 scholarships from 47 states and more than 20 countries, according to the Code with Classy website. Klaus's sister-in-law, former first daughter Ivanka Trump Kushner, is also one of the few positive role models in the world. During her time in the White House alongside her father, Trump Kushner became a major player in the fight to end human trafficking and child marriage. Alongside her father, the former first daughter passed Executive Order 22 U.S.C. 7101, or the Trafficking Victims Act, which makes human trafficking, child pornography, and child marriage potentially punishable by life imprisonment without the possibility of parole. By being a leader in the war on human trafficking, child marriage, and child exploitation has shown that Trump Kushner is not only a fighter, but she gives a voice to the voiceless. Both ladies are the role models our girls need, and they're the ones they deserve. Although Klaus and Trump Kushner are excellent role models for our girls, there are too few women like them. If neither of them have anything nice to say, they don't say anything, and they put their platform into contrast. Into action. In contrast, most of the so-called role models of this generation are celebrated for their bad behavior, which is just sad. It only proves outraged parents right. There are two little positive role models for our tween and teen girls. In conclusion, our girls need better role models. People like Danielle Bregoli and the D'Amelio girls don't deserve the admiration of our girls. They deserve better, and it starts with who they look up to. Thank you very much.